All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. News and update is how people have been showing seriousness of all kinds. How they want to exit Nigeria. You know, when Mazina Dekano was asked, when will you declare Biafra? He said, when our people are ready. And then from in, uh, by information reaching us, uh, Prime Minister said over or up to like 30 million people have voted. That's both online and offline voting. Say yes to Biafra, no to Nigeria. And I'm telling you today that this is good news. So all of us will stand and face the consequence of our decision. What is that decision? Freedom is key, is what we say, day in, day out. Now what should be our quota in the decision that we are making is for us to get every form of equipment and ammunition that we can get to get ready for a bust. Because they cannot even win, on it, win us in that terrain. That is our terrain. Is there not God in heaven? There is. There is justice in nature. So God will not allow us to be defeated, not now, not tomorrow, not forever. Because we are fighting a just cause, <clears throat> and we are determined, and we are united. Especially unity. In unity we stand. Divided we fall. You know, 14 years is uniting with one another to say yes, yes, and yes. To Nigeria we say no, no, and no. So that is it. So long as you carry gun, in Biafra land, wearing Nigeria army uniform, you are a gunner. We demand the withdrawal of all of you. You must be withdrawn. Delegitimization has taken place and you don't have any legitimacy over Biafra. We have done that for the past three years. Giving you sit at home, Biafra obeyed, you threaten them, they obeyed. You threaten with their work, they obeyed. You say if they don't come out, you close their shop. You even went ahead closing some of the shops. Yet, they stood their ground. What else do you want them to do? They have rejected you. They have rejected you completely. Today we have over 30 million votes for Biafra. 30 good million. Or Biafra people have said, please declare Biafra for us. Remember that when Mazen Amdekano was shouting and preaching on Radio Biafra, somebody asked him, When are you going to declare Biafra? He said, When our people are ready. Today they are ready. They have given the mandate in the first phase of the referendum. That's why when we are doing this thing, some people don't understand. Calm down. We know what we are doing. We will get the mandate of Biafra first and then strike Nigeria like never before in the history. After 2nd of December, Shineke God who made me, after 2nd of December, Nigeria will see hell. Terrorist state of Nigeria will see hell. I know Musa is listening to me. This particular word is going to Musa. Musa is a terrorist who has volunteered himself to serve. Yet he can't come to the southeast and south south to fight. They say Samanepa come to Nigeria. What business do I have with Nigeria? I was not in Nigeria. I didn't left Nigeria because of Biafra. I didn't left Nigeria because of Biafra. I am already married somewhere before joining Biafra struggle. What am I doing in Nigeria? What is my business with Nigeria? You should start by telling me to come to Biafra land. Maybe that makes a lot of sense. And the only sense it is going to make for me is that you will be talking Biafra instead of Nigeria. So it will create this particular awareness that I want. So don't stop telling me, come to Nigeria. Tell me to come to Biafra. I will listen to you. Then I know that you have validated Biafra. But you continue to tell me, come to Nigeria if you are a man. Go to do what? I choose how I fight you, and I'm fighting you from afar. 
I told Biafra people from the beginning that we will bring Biafra from diaspora. Is it not happening? Is it not happening for the very first time? Criminals are talking about regional government. Real government, but walk there. You think you have monopoly of violence? You think you're the only one who knows how to shoot gun? You think the only one? We will revenge the killing of these 300 people in Aba. Go and mark it today. Biafra will revenge in a very, very heavy manner. And for the past few months, I have been shouting it. One day you wake up, Obinze is gone. We will start from there. I know that they have uh, laid many with many explosives in Obinze. They don't know where when the when the Biafra forces will come there. They have buried many explosives, waiting for Biafra forces to come. We will shock you. We will shock you. You will know that that thing you buried in Obinze, waiting for our men to come. You will be shocked. The day is fast approaching. This war you declared on Biafra, you can never win. You can never win this war. You can never, ever, ever revive Nigeria again. Never. Nigeria is gone. Because it was a false country with false foundation that were never meant to stand. It was not for the progress of the people. It's for a business interest of certain people. And many Biafrans, millions of Biafrans all over the world have come to understand that it is time to fight this once and for all. When people say, oh, the Mandela said he was prepared to die. That was one of his uh, famous pre speech in 1964. Why he was on trial. And many would tell you, oh, Mandela was fighting from forefront. Mandela was fighting from the front. Uh, everybody who fought the war was in the front. Who told you that I am going to fight like those who fight in the front? I will not fight like those who fight in the front. I will fight from the back. My own is fighting from the back. And are you not seeing the result? Are you not seeing the result? You say, I will never come to Nigeria. The Biafra Liberation Army commanders are in Biafra land. Deal with them first before you talk about Simon Ekma. They are there with you. You are looking for somebody who is not there. When you see them, you see me. When you see Biafra com army commanders, you see me. That is me there. Who told you that if I want to come, I will not come and, and fight like them? Well, you know what? I choose how I fight you. And you can never change anything. Your nonsense propaganda cannot change anything. I have volunteered and sacrificed my life to make sure that Biafra people are liberated from this enslavement. Does not matter what it takes, it will happen. And the beginning of the liberation and freedom of Biafra will start from the 2nd of December 2024. Nothing in this and on this planet will stop the declaration and the restoration of independence of Biafra. Come second December 2024. Here in Finland. And that is the fulfillment of the prophecy that Biafra will come from the diaspora. Some of them are wondering you are declaring Biafra in exile. Yes, we declare it in exile. We are not even the second or the first people that declared independence in exile. Israel did it. And 
when you look at the people and listen to the people from this Golibo Niger area, you see how they mock themselves on social media. Oh, you are in Ezra. Stay in Ezra now. Why all of them are actually in Ezra? You are in Abuja. What is it called? Is it not in Ezra? Is Abuja your fatherland? Some of you are going to do traditional marriage in Abuja. Is Abuja your, your homeland? Are you not in Exa? You are in Exa. Your own is even worse. Because you are you have just two hours away from your village. You can't go there. They are sonny to uh, nigeria and uh, talk we take him serious he is in abuja he can't enter biafra land and challenge him if he say he's a he's a very reasonable man let him go to head bridge on monday and shall simon you are a madman he should make a live video and when he is going he should carry all the military in Anambra and go there. I am telling you the fact. If he do it, I will know he's a man. But well, you know he cannot do it. But he will sit somewhere in the, in the studio in Abuja and be talking rubbish. So when I come home, can be in exile. As if he is not in exile. All of them that are in Abuja today are all in exile. They can't go to their village. They can't even do burial in their village. They can't even, uh, you know, do traditional marriage in their village. They are the one confessing. Yet, they are challenging me to come to Nigeria. These are stupid bones. It is not only them all. People from the north, is this, they are the same. None of them can travel by road to their villages. But they are there. Tell somebody who is how many thousand miles away to come. You people want a... Uh, you want a problem, right? We have given it to you. You can never sleep. You can never. You see that enjoyment you used to do. You come back to your village. You do unko be do. You can never do it again until Biafra come. That thing you make Biafra to go through with your money, your luxury life. You can never do it in your village again. We have deprived you that particular enjoyment. That is where it starts. It is come. We we are we are coming to Abuja. If we don't come. Other terrorist group will come there. That particular enjoyment, you steal money, embezzle the money, and you impoverish your people to suffer in your villages while you are in Abuja enjoying, and then sometimes you come to your village with convoy to start running around, putting dust on people. Oh, he is coming, convoy. You can never enjoy it again in your village. It is a, it is a step we have achieved. Depriving you that particular luxury in your village is number one step. If you do not know that it's an achievement under Biafra liberation, it's a very big achievement because those criminals, corrupt leaders who use the, 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 the future of our people to enrich themselves, enrich their families, they can no longer come home to enjoy it. If you, don't, if you have never thought about it this way, it is time you begin to crack your brain. Is achievement the Biafra liberation forces have achieved. Making sure that these people will never come home to enjoy their stolen, ill stolen wealth. Or should I say, you got him well? You can never. Until Biafra come, then we will begin to rebuild the land. But for now, you are a gunner. You can never step in, step your foot in Biafra land. Because you, you made these monsters you see today. Your policies for years made the monsters, and now the monsters are after you. You are there going to social media, going to platform to complain. Oh, uh, Southeast, the other one, my business is now in Lagos. Oh, yeah. Why wouldn't your business be in Lagos? Some of them can pay for hopes of them. Creating insecurity, and you want to come back home to enjoy your business. Come to do your business in Biafra Land. Now. You can never do it until Biafra come. And when Biafra come, we will give you condition. You think that this is where, 
Fight Biafra as much as you can because what they are doing now is to fight the emergence of Biafra. They will fight with everything they have or they're going to lose. How, you, can, you can't fight the spirit and win. They will say, oh, um, uh, we, let me leave Southeast uh, so that where Biafra come, uh, let, what are they doing in this Biafra self? Uh, uh, who is sure? How can Biafra come? Let us go. After all, we have money. When Biafra, when Biafra come, you see what we're going to do to you and your business. I am telling you the fact. You will see when. So my Biafra people, what the Biafra liberation have achieved so far is to make the rich, the criminals, uncomfortable. So anytime you hear them cry, celebrate it. Anytime you hear them say, oh, nobody can marry the... All right, thank you very much, our Prime Minister. You are indeed opening our eyes to knowing how we are winning this war because we need to win. We need to be confident that we win. Yes, what we are going into is not a small thing, but that is a final stage of it. Once it's declared and defended, Biafra has come, government has taken over. We pray that God will help us to achieve this. That's my earnest prayer. And I know that's the earnest prayer of most of the Biafrans, in fact, all Biafrans, let's say, it, because the majority carries the vote. If we have 30 million people voted already, what is remaining? That means everybody is saying yes and yes and yes. So please continue to share our good news. Continue to be with us. Subscribe, like, and uh, comment. Thank you.